Hey guys, welcome to kettlebells for bodybuilding. Now there's a common misconception that kettlebells are only good for functional training. Now, there is some truth to that. Kettlebells are excellent for functional training, but they're also really good for bodybuilding and aesthetic training. This is the first video in a five-part series where Mind Pump is collaborated with Kettlebell Kings. By the way, you can check out their kettlebells at kettlebellkings.com. In this first video, we're gonna show you a superset for your legs. It's a muscle builder. This is a pump-inducing combo. The first exercise, front-loaded kettlebell squats. The second exercise, back-loaded kettlebell lunges. Check it out. You guys, uh, you guys ready to show people how to body build with kettlebells? Is that, is that a thing? That's a thing. I it's remember thing. the first time I started using kettlebells, it was all about the functional aspects of them. Uh -huh. But then incorporating them with uh, like bodybuilding type aesthetic based movements, I got some phenomenal results from using kettlebells. Well, there's a ton of great carryovers that people don't talk about. With, Excellent with carryovers. And so I'd like to show people how to use these for aesthetic purposes. Forget the functional kettlebell type exercises. We're going to show you how to do bodybuilding with kettlebells, how to, how to uh, add to your bodybuilding routine. I think I'm probably one of the only men's physique pros that I've ever seen that actually incorporated a lot of unconventional lifting like this. And Excellent. Kettlebell mm -hmm. lifting is probably one of my favorite ways to get ready for a show. So the first one we sh I want to show is, uh, let's show that leg superset we were talking about earlier. Oh, right. That front, front squat front to the back load. Front squats to the exactly. back. Exactly. Well, first, let's talk lunch. a little bit about why, like, so, the, you know, when you're training for, like, functional, like when you do, like, a Turkish get-up and these type of traditional movements when it comes to the kettlebell, uh, that's when you're trying to work on like functional, but when you're trying to work on aesthetics, uh, we want to we want to maximize the pump, right? So we're, we're chasing that hypertrophy phase of training. So yeah, and you want to have, I mean, obviously, gross motor movements build lots of muscle, deadlift, squats, mm -hmm. but you don't want to have it so complex that it's all functional and you lose the ability to focus on particular muscles. So is that kind of that balance, right? Exactly, which and is why a lot like the dumbbells. I mean, the kettlebells provide a great stimulus for your muscles to, you know, respond as far as that goes. So yes. you can use them in very similar ways, but now you get a different feel to them. They're so. different. That's the thing I want everybody to know is that kettlebells are different than dumbbells and barbells. And if you use them with traditional barbell and dumbbell exercises, you're going to get a different it's a great combo. And you're going to build muscle. So the first exercise in this combo is the front-loaded squat, which kind of is similar to a front squat with a barbell, right? Your traditional bodybuilding front squat, but different feel, very different feel. Well, also I like this instead of that. So one of the things that like a lot of bodybuilders have a really hard time doing a front-loaded squat because they don't have that internal rotation with their shoulders and starting to utilize more of the kettlebells is something that's helped my mobility in my shoulders. So this is something that's a lot easier to rack the front dumbbells while you do this than actually doing a barbell. So let's right. take a look at so we'll just go ahead and start then and get into the rack position. So I'm gonna pick it up like a deadlift and I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna rack it into my chest. So as I pull it up, I'm gonna keep my eyes up and then bring it into my body Good. and then pack my shoulders so, down. So this is the start of the exercise. You'll notice that the kettlebells are on his arms. His arms are tight to his body. Everything is staying nice and tight. I love just this part of the movement because I, I feel when I do front squats like this, mm -hmm. I feel more in my thoracic uh, than I do with the traditional uh, with the traditional. Well, it's just barbell. great upright posture, right? You're going to get your shoulders retracted and depressed. And the weight really provides that uh, stimulus to depress the shoulder blades. Though. Right. So now when you do a front squat with this, you get a lot more quads than you do with a traditional back squat. Well, you get Absolutely. a ton of core too because we're trying to stabilize yes. all this weight as you come down. So, so go ahead and demo that, Justin. So go ahead and do the squat there. And there you go. There's your squat right there. And look how low he can get with the kettlebells and go and come back up. Now he paused at the bottom to show you, you know, what it looks like, but in reality, right. your reps are gonna look more, con more constant. Well, and since we're now training, we're training for aesthetics, so we're probably looking at more of like a four, two, one type of count. Yeah. So Justin's gonna take the negative a little bit slower than what he would do on a, probably have a power movement. Excellent. So here's your front squat. You do your reps here. You want to aim for about 10 to 14 reps. Then you immediately switch to one of my favorite variations of the lunge, the back loaded kettlebell lunge. So I now we'll this. drop one and we'll just grab one behind our back. So I'm going to grab the kettlebell. So really put emphasis too on his, his, how he pulls his shoulder blades, depresses them. Right. Racks the kettlebell where it's resting right on his backside. Now, here's the thing. The weight is behind his body. When you hold dumbbells, they're next to your body. A barbell is on top of your body. Here, it's behind your body, and that gives you more hip extension 
when you're doing your walking lunges. Well, I'll show we just you shifted I mean. the emphasis. We were, when we were doing the front squats, there's a lot of emphasis on the quads. Now we've re shifted over the posterior chain now, and so you're going to get a lot of that hip extension when he comes through that yeah. lunge. So. so as he moves forward and then steps forward into it, there you go. It really forces you to drive your hips and get that posterior chain activation involved in that lunge. This is a killer superset. Killer superset. I dare you to try this and see how your legs feel the next day. Front loaded kettlebell squats, right to the back loaded walking lunges. That's one Great set. Burn. Combine them two, that's one set. Rest and repeat. You should be aiming for about 10 to 14 reps for each exercise. So a grand total of 20 something reps. Great pump. Mm -hmm. Beautiful movement.